This is Caravan Salon 2019. This is the 2020 version of Hymer's B674SL Supreme Line. A vehicle which is uh, comparatively new. It is available, it's not a prototype. And you can order it, and you'll have to wait quite a long time before you get it if you order it because there's such uh, such demand for all of these vehicles right so we have here a quick look at uh, w w some of the details right kickoff price is 94,000 euros this is 118 nearly and uh, that is largely due to some of these extras which I'm gonna read to you okay Fiat, uh, so it's the uh, engine upgrade nearly 4,000 nine speed gearbox that's the new Fiat one three and a half thousand uh, Heimer um, hubs 1300 there you go 1300 about shared by four because you get four of them uh, pick two zone navigation system with rear camera 3000 oh and delivery there you go from Bad Valzer to Dusseldorf, 710. 710 euros. And then people complain that the amount of expenses I, 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 I require for travelling. I don't know. Right, okay. I'll give you some other details. <laughs> Having a look at the pricing. Um, so, it's 739 centimetres long. 235 uh, wide, 296 high, 198. 98 internal height. Uh, right, ready to go, 3,290. So, um, you could put it on three and a half tons. Now, I've said this in other vans, and I think that's now a little bit, it's, uh, I think that's doable actually, just about. That's ready to go, so that includes the drive, a bit of water, and all this. so the empty weight's gonna be about 3,000, some three tons, something like that. Right, so you put a four and a half ton basis, right, and you've got 1,210 kilos of uh, payload, unless you put it on three and a half ton basis, and uh, don't pay the tax, the tolls in those countries uh, <laughs> where you, you don't have to but you might find yourself being overweight. Um, I did see uh, in, uh, in the press about, uh, not mine, but of uh, people being stopped in Austria and having the, their vans being um, weighed. And uh, the, uh, there's a list of fines. I think I'm gonna have to actually do a film on this. We'll go through the, the fines that you have to pay in given countries for being overweight. Now a friend of mine was actually stopped in the UK, he's a publisher, a book publisher, and he stopped and took him to a weigh bridge and he was overweight and he got fined and uh, he had to dump the books off or something. He wasn't allowed to go on. Um, he had to get another transport for the rest of the books. So, anyway, a few words about uh, uh, being overweight. Now, um, oh, I'll just show you this before I go any further, because I, if, if you say, oh, that camera's, uh, yeah, I'm losing this, because my current camera, it's uh, overheating. And so I'm using the gimbal, which you can see here. So it's not, it's not such a wide angle. You can get these wide angles for these things. Um, I saw one, it was only about 10 euros or something, 12, something like that, I can't remember. And, uh, if it's 12 euros, it's not going to be much good. That was my thought. I should have, should have tried it though, really. I should have gone to the shop and ordered one. Anyway, that apart, look how much space you save by getting rid of that bed that's up front, if there's only two of you, of course. And look, you, got all, you get this huge amount. In fact, it would, look, it would look better if I had the other camera, but you get this huge amount of space there. Look at all that which you can use and uh, your extra storage and uh, you're not hitting your head on the on the bed and I mean if you're not using the bed isn't it better uh, that's my opinion so what can we do with these corners though can something be done now I've done a number of films with Cartago so I've got these empty corners uh, the lighting uh, works quite well but um, 
yeah, I think something could be done later. There's a company uh, n near Gunsberg, which I've filmed before. They've got this system called Keeper, and uh, that would fit in there. It's like a net that would fit in there quite nicely. It might not look so flash, but it would, it would fit nicely. Oh, I'll show you the, the sideboard down here. Right, so uh, with all, as with everything in the Supreme line, it doesn't actually continue, if you like. So you've got a separate um, uh, colour scheme down here in, in the passenger bit. I like to continue the same black, for example, all the way back. That's just a sort of bit of personal taste. Uh, driver side door, obviously not on the passenger side, it's not necessary. I mean, you could argue it's not necessary on the driver side. Although I suppose it's a bit easier to, uh, if you've got to... Uh, get out of the petrol station or something like that to fill up then that's uh, a little bit better so this is the view back from this supremely comfortable chair and this is brilliant I've got my head on it. it it's it's given me support in the right places uh yeah what a fantastic chair right so um as well as the fantastic chair blackout blind oh it's a nice quality one as well Better and and it's better than these card like ones. That's oh, that's that's a nice material. Definitely very nice. Yeah, if, you, if you're the passenger, you can keep your foreign foreign coins. You know the coins you pick up from Ecuador. You don't know what to do with them. They can go in there. I picked up some coins from Peru from somewhere, which I found in Switzerland. Now, uh, this chair here, well, this chair here is used, uh, uh, it's got two functions. You sit on it when you take your shoes off and you put your shoes on the double floor. And you also put your feet up like that. Oh, and uh, enjoy the ride. Now, I have something to say about my feet. Uh, there's this rumour, which I've heard from several sources, that in Germany, you're not allowed to wear sandals. Yesterday, I talked to the police about this and the law is you're not allowed to wear flip-flops however as long as you've got a back here on it that's perfectly permissible in Germany so the next time that somebody tells you that they keep an extra pair of shoes handy when the police pull them over that is not necessary you can wear sandals I was sort of asked somebody, I said, what's the reason for that? He said, well, if you have an accident, you've got glass flying around and all the rest of it. I don't think that's the case at all. With flip-flops, uh, I can understand, you do not have the pressure on your feet there to enable, um, you know, to brake properly and things like that. I think that's the reason. Anyway, good. Now, uh, one thing about the Supreme line and many other uh, models uh, which Hyam has got, you've got these... Um, this great double floor uh, it's great for insulation but it also gives you so much storage and improves your ride quality because all the technical stuff has been moved uh, on the floor so to speak uh, we've got your battery down here yeah, I'll open this one up here see what's down here there you go, look how deep it is look at that huge amount of space Keep stacks of stuff in there. Oh, while I'm on the floor, let's let's start opening these things up. All right, you got a sort of a bin there. You can use it as a safe one if you weren't too bothered about people opening it. Fifteen kilos max could do with a sideboard. logo there television under there cornflakes in the jar I think that's an optional extra sink relatively good range in a three in that way Gives you more space to do things. A 
Right, that's a coffee maker in there, and that it descends by the use of this thing here. There you go, there's it, there's it descending. It's probably Nespresso, or so it's a company related to Nespresso. There's that other thing, I've forgotten the name of it now, um, which is. Uh, it's not Nespresso, but it's made by the same uh, company. Anyway, so you've got a pulley system up there to bring the thing up and down. The This funny shape here is for the, the capsules that will go in there. Now, I, would, I want some opinions on the capsules, because I don't think the coffee's very good. That's my opinion. I'd much rather get an, get an Italian cafeteria, and so I'll do it. That's my opinion. It's a matter of taste. Uh, gustibus non disputatum est. Uh, so, um, there's no accounting for taste, that means, in Latin. And um, so, that, but to me, I personally, uh, I could do without that. Well, having said that, if it's in the van, then uh, there must be some demand for it. Got there an oven above the uh, fridge. All right, bit of storage down there for hanging things. Uh, bed will come out. Storage. Uh, it, you've got a dirty clothes bag here. Handy, eh? You get your water down here. And you can fill the this bit in if you want it there. That on my left, the space for television. So you can shut yourself in, but if you're claustrophobic, you've got a space down the bottom. Uh, some Heimer models have got this um, a cloth one, like they've got the, the blinds up front. And personally, I think that works far better. I mean, it's my opinion. I mean, other people might want a door like that. Right, so down here, you've got your dressing area, so to speak. Maybe it doesn't quite work as well as the dressing area, and those ones are particularly designed for dressing areas. I was, a bit, I was attempted at uh, being uh, humorous, but it didn't really work. Feel how light everything is, though the materials as I as I close the doors. I'm talking of lightness. I this is much easier than the gimbal. I, I usually use a pity the angle so so bad. I'll show you the garage. Right, so size of the garage, you can see you've got in there this uh, the bicycle, so you can see very clearly how many more bicycles uh, you could get in there. 350 kilos will go in the back, thanks to the Alco chassis. There's my camera, currently charging, and because it, 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 um, it's a mirrorless lens, so that it heats up, and so you know this film now is about 14 minutes long. And so I did uh, did four this morning without the overheating, which isn't bad. So I mean that's getting on for what probably around what, 45 minutes, something like that, because they weren't all 14 minutes. But um, it is uh, it is a little bit of a problem with these type of cameras. So when I finish this one, the next one I can do with that camera, then then it'll be then I won't be able to do an, uh, one. I'll be able to get done, 
and then the next ones are gonna have to do with this camera back onto this camera here Here you get an idea of the depth of the double floor. So from there to there. There you can get skis and long things through. And the gas cabinet, see it pulls out. So it, 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 it's easier to put things on it, you know. And let's face it, with certain age, you don't want to start lifting heavy things. You get a dodgy back. Most people I know of my age already have a dodgy back. back. In fact, I've had a dodgy back for more than 20 years. As my father had before me both from lifting things. He was lifting cement and I was lifting uh, stuff into the back of my car. <laughs> okay, there's the Heimer B674SL. Uh, came onto the market uh, this year, 2019. Uh, if you found that interesting, thanks for watching. And um, if you find uh, this interesting, you might wanna give me uh, some support on Patreon. Uh, there's a link uh, which will appear at the end of the film. Uh, there's more information on nearly all the vans here, but certainly these ones are in front of me right now, the Supreme line. I can find that on my site, motorhomefulltime.com, as well as lots more from this event at Dusseldorf. Thank you very much for watching.